What's going on people? I am Joella Noble and I'm here at Tate Liverpool. Now, every episode I bring a couple people, we look at some art and we talk about some really interesting stuff. And this episode is actually no different. I've got Youngin and Kofi McCullough and we're gonna have a look to see what Keith Haring's saying. All right, guys, come on in. So this right here, is actually the UK's biggest exhibition for Keith Haring. He was an artist, activist, social commentator, and collaborator, and so much more. So, are you guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Should we take yeah, a little look-see? Yeah, let's, let's check it. Let's go. Let's check it out. Like, he did a lot of street painting. So this is actually taken from the roads, babe. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Streets of New York, yeah? Streets of New York, yeah. He was um, in New York during the 1980s. Took a lot of inspiration from the music, fashion. Where would you guys say your uh, biggest inspirations come from? I say music plays a heavy role in it. Like, yeah. That got me into fashion. Like it's a oh, rocky it? fashion killer. Okay. And he's saying Jill Sanders and all these de designers I don't know nothing about. And I'm like, oh, I'm mad. We'll check them out. So that's what made you do your research? Yeah. I just think everyday life in general for me, I just get inspiration from just seeing, seeing. new things and just, especially meeting other creatives as well. That's a big inspiration. So it's the whole, your peers. Yeah. Like when you see that your peers are doing stuff, then obviously it inspires you to do more. Oh, look at him and all his mates. So he actually used to put on these parties at like Club 57. And you know, he used to collaborate with people and his friends about the music, uh, fashion. Like how do you guys, source that when you want to collaborate with people. I think it's so easier now because of like social media. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like something like this. He used to get everyone to go to this spot. So this is where you find like, do you know what I mean? And now on social media, like you can see other people's work and just DM them like, yo, I see your lights like at the last show you did. Yeah. Like, are you free on this day? Yeah. Like, and then that's it. And then you share your, like, your thoughts and your visions. You know what? I actually think it's so cool because, like, imagine back then, yeah, you just turn up to one of these venues and you say, hey, I film. Oh, okay, join the team. And, and they actually, like, helped each other and, like, built with each other. Doesn't matter what level you're at. Yeah. Nowadays, I'm looking on social media, I'm like, oh, you're a stylist. I swear. So, this, 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 you're following this, this. And that's like, it's just crazy. That didn't matter then. Mm. Welcome to my house. <laughs> hey, this is crazy, you know? Yes. Yeah, this is sick. Oh, man, this is kind of mm -hmm, trippy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. So this is like a replica of the studio that he created. Um, like his own, his very own studio. Yeah. So he would have his partner in the corner DJing. This is how much he loved partying, by the way. <laughs> and he would whip up some artwork and then go out to the club. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lifestyle, you know. It is. It's the same thing like you do as a musician, like we do as a musician. Like I would like I built a studio at home, yeah. and I want it the way I want it, and like, I was just looking at these lads. I, mean, I need these at home <laughs> and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but that when it because stuff it gets you in your creative space, and this is where you work best. This is where you feel most comfortable. Yeah. It's sick. I love how simple this stuff is, man. Like, yes. That's so basic, yeah. man. Like, yeah. Oh, it's annoying if I could build a time machine and just do that before. Yeah. <laughs> what were you thinking? Why did you, you, know, know? Why did you do that? Why did you make this? Wow. I want to show you guys this one as well. This one's pretty neat. Whoa. This whole situation yeah, this right nice. here. He didn't know exactly what he was doing before he did it. So this is a freestyle situation. And it took him 24 hours. 24 hours? Mm -hmm. I know when I started painting nowadays, like when you paint, you don't really think of time. So I reckon when he's doing that, he didn't even think of time. Yeah. He was just obsessed he with it. He was just you know? involved, wasn't Like he? if you're making music or something, you're just obsessed with it right now. Yeah, yeah. The time ain't a thing. I like where he kind of like, I don't know, like maybe he screwed up on some characters, but then he kept it. Mm. Like you see how some of them look kind of weird, like a pointy elbow down. Yeah. He probably yeah. feel like, nah. But then he's like, you know what, it's cool, leave it. Do you guys feel like you're perfectionist in your art? Or do you see the imperfections and you still roll with them? No, I'm a perfectionist. Oh, really? Yeah, and, and it's like really like not a good trait for me. Sometimes it's a good trait, but yeah. sometimes it's like, like I should have just went with yeah. where it was. I'll go over something about 20 times and it's just like, mm. and, and then and after I've done that, I overthink it again. And I'm just like, why am I doing this? Mm. 
But I feel now, like, we're in a time where, like, you just try and do something like this, they'll just shoot you down. Like. Oh, 100%. Yeah, no matter yeah. what you do, or you're ripping off Basquiat, or you're ripping off Keith Haring, but, like, you have to understand, they were ripping off another artist, like Damien Hurst ripped off Francis Bacon. Yeah. And it's not ripping off, it's, it's taking inspiration. inspiration. It's taking inspiration. inspiration. And actually, on that point, let me show you some other bits here. This is an outfit designed by Malcolm McLaren and Vivian Westwood. I mean, I think it's so cool, like, wearing art, like, no one can flex on you. Like, yeah. there's clothes that you can wear, but then there's pieces, and that's a piece. Yeah, that's a, mm. you know, exactly. That's a piece, like. All right, so now we are officially Keith Haring specialists. Oh, yeah. Educated. Come on. We know everything about the man. All right, the legend. For real. So it's safe to say that you guys enjoyed this trip, yeah? I really enjoyed it. I did actually really enjoy it. Yeah. So much fun. I actually got like loads of inspiration just coming here. Mm. I'm not just saying that for the video, I'm saying yeah. that like dead ass, like serious. Yeah. Like, I'm taking what, some stuff home. What's the biggest piece of inspiration you've taken from this? I mean, I love how he like converted his own apartment into like his own art facility. You get me? Like, yeah. And the way he worked on like different materials is like making me think maybe I can do things differently and different. You get me? Like, yeah. see things differently. You know? Yeah. I just love the way he like shared a message through art. Like through like most of the art you're seeing, he's like telling a story or he's sending a message. Mm. I was trying to figure out what the message was the whole time, yeah, but. I think that was sick. I, I guess at the time yeah. they knew what he was talking about. I reckon it's just the state of the times yeah. at that time. Yeah, definitely. That social commentary. Oh, should we go home now? Yeah, man. All right, Carl, I'm not kidding. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for today. Listen, if you're keen to get involved, then make sure you sign up to the Take Collective. It's free for all 16 to 25 year olds. You get five pound exhibition tickets, discounts on loads of other stuff, and other perks that you're just not going to want to miss. So, do it.